Well, we're out doing a little fishing Friday afternoon. It's the 29th. I got this crazy thing set up. And the conditions are pretty darn good. There's no slush that we've seen. We're on sag. Um, and not a ton of snow. Snow like this. Five, six inches maybe. Maybe less. If you were skiing, it'd be pretty easy skiing. Coming off the coldest uh, week of the season so far. This week it was uh, two readings of about 30 below and another morning of in the 20s below zero. So for this year, that's super cold. It's been uh, freezing up the slush pretty well. So we like it. No snow to speak of. We might get some snow this weekend, but it only looks like a couple inches. So not enough to, uh, to do much damage. <laughs> He's not that big though. He had one good run in him. There he is. All right. <laughs> He's not tiny. No, it's not bad. It's a gorgeous fish. Off he goes. So I've got some cool new gear for this season. And one new rod that I have is this brand spanking new Della Bay Compensator. It's their uh, heaviest rod and I uh, just got it a couple days ago and we're out on sag and it's pretty darn nice. I really like it. I was worried that it was going to be uh, too heavy and it, it isn't. It's the, a good weight for, for sag lake trout. It's a beefy rod but um, it definitely isn't isn't a broomstick. I hate rods like that. Um, so caught one fish on it and it's been fantastic. It's got uh, I think it's uh, heavy action, and I think it's 40 inches, so it's pretty good for inside a shack. Um, but this is a great kind of gunflint trail, boundary waters, lake trout rod. If you're fishing for, you know, where you have a chance of getting fish over 30 inches, it's excellent. Um, I've got a new bait, too. This is a Kalen's Tickle Minnow. Freaky looking thing with a Peterson's Tournament jig head. And a chunk of minnow on there um, and I don't know I just bought it because I like the way they look and they work so they're pretty cool this uh, compensator the Della Bay rod has a, a 2500 stratic on it so um, it's perfect reel for this size rod so another thing that I got uh, lure and boy if you order these from Canada be prepared for it to take a long time because it took about a month shipping for me to get this um, and it's nothing to do with the company. It has everything to do with just the, the uh, international situation right now. Um, but it is a TC Moto tube. Boy, these are higher quality than tubes that you can get in the United States. At least tubes that I've been able to get. Holy cow. These are, um, you know, I think these are handmade. And they're just amazing. Uh, they're really cool. They glow in the dark. And, you know, if you watch any YouTube fishing shows like I do, like, it's like the Lake Trout Lure TC Moto tube jig. So I think this is an ounce and a half or an ounce. So this is about the biggest lure that I would ever use on the Gunflint Trail anywhere uh, up here. Um, it's pretty big, but, uh, you know, they're fantastic. Um, plenty, not by any means too big to fish on like Sag or Seagull or something like that. Gunflint, North, South. Um, but uh, really impressed with the quality and how they look. So um, uh, looking forward to using this a lot this winter. Um, did he go after you? I don't know. Are you, is he hitting you or are you just doing that to... Uh, a little bit of both. There we go. 
Uh, heavier, I think. Yep, heavier. Oh, no, no. Shoot. That was a nicer fish. Well, it is Sunday, the 31st, and we got a little snow overnight by this winter's standards. It's a big snowfall. Um, I got the measuring stick here, and I'm going to stick it in, and we'll see how much it is. Probably about two and a half inches of snow. Enough to freshen things up and make it look nice, but not enough to slush up the lake, so that's good. Well, it's now uh, Sunday afternoon, and the weather just got so, got so nice. It's like 28 degrees. There's not a breath of wind, it's dead calm. So we figured we might as well take advantage of it and get out and do a little fishing. Um, we're gonna fish for some brook trout, which <clears throat> we have quite a mixed record on. We are by no means experts at catching brook trout, but I uh, figured we might try something a little different. So we'll see. Well, first brook trout, not exactly a trophy. But it's better than nothing. Look at these little guys. <laughs> oh. oh no. It's all screwed up. Just just don't see it. It's he's on there. Here. Just let him go. Let him Oops. go. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, I see. There Ever. we go. Alright, I got him. Who's a nice one? Really nice one. It's a monster. It's a monster. All right. <laughs> so of course we can never get, you know, any fish catches on on video at all, but Ada just caught a pretty nice brook trout and we'll put a photo in and we might have a video of the release. Um, but it was the first rot, uh, first fish that we've caught on this new Della Bay 15 for two uh, that we picked up this week. And I guess it's like a panfish rod, maybe. I don't know a whole lot about panfish rods, but you know, maybe a big panfish rod. It's great for brook trout, rainbow trout, stock trout, things like that. But here it is, it's pretty slick. Um, I think it would make a pretty good crappie rod up here too, because the crappies run pretty big. But uh, yeah, Della Bay 15 for two. And the other rod, and I think I talked about this at some point, is another Della Bay that I bought in the fall, um, specifically for panfish. And it's the Pronto Pup. Really light rod. This might be a little too light for uh, stock trout, but it works pretty well. The fish run really, really small, so you know, <laughs> light tackle. Well, some more snow moving in. Probably isn't getting picked up on the camera very well. But we're calling it a day. We caught a couple, couple nice little brook trout, probably 14 inches, 15 inches, one the size of a cigar. So for us, that's pretty darn good um, for only fishing for like two hours. So. Pretty cool.